We ask some people in our community a simple question. What will you teach the world? Peter Amarongan is an energy efficient housing expert with Habitat Studio. Hi, I'm Peter Amarongan from Habitat Studio and I'd like to teach the world the importance of moving toward a carbon neutral future now, before it's too late. Climate change is an ugly fact that's not going away. We can't kick this down the road any further. Our only hope is to go from current fossil fuel dependency to zero emissions by 2050. Think about what a huge change that means for our workplaces, our buildings, our transportation, our power grid, our food production, just about everything. The part I know best is buildings, in particular net zero energy buildings. A net zero energy building produces all of its energy for heating, cooling, lighting and other electrical loads on site from renewable sources. Our company, Habitat Studio, has gotten pretty good at building them. We've built 10 net zero houses so far and are working on three more and a church and an apartment building. The best way to get a building to net zero energy is to make it use less energy. To do that, you need to know where all the energy is going. As you can see, most of it's used for heating and cooling and hot water, lighting, appliances, and miscellaneous electrical stuff. Without deep reduction to all of these, there's no hope of generating all your energy with solar. There simply wouldn't be enough space for the solar panels you would need. So how do we reduce our consumption in a new building? First, we insulate like crazy with thick walls, thick attic insulation, even insulation under the basement floor. Next, we make the house super airtight Air leakage is the single biggest source of heat loss in most houses. Then we add energy efficient heating, hot water, appliances and lighting. These reductions get us 90% of the way to net zero and make it net zero ready. All we have to do now is install solar panels to produce that last 10% to make it fully net zero. All buildings need to be net zero by 2050, but 75 to 80% of the ones we'll be using in 2050 are already built. What about those? Upgrading an existing building to net zero is possible, but harder than building that way from the start. We have to be smart about it. Start with an energy audit so you know where the energy is being wasted and then make a comprehensive plan to cut that waste to net zero levels as you can afford it. For example, when your place is siding, take advantage of the opportunity to make walls airtight and add enough insulation for eventual net zero. You don't want to have to replace the siding again just to add more insulation. If you need new windows, get the most energy efficient windows available. Basically, anytime you do anything to your house, you should make sure it's part of a comprehensive plan to get to net zero. If you can't afford to get there right away, wait a couple more years until you can. If you're not building or renovating, what can you do? Remember, a net zero ready house uses a tenth of the energy of a regular house. So getting to net zero is 90% reduction, 10% production. What does this mean for you? Well, let's go back to that consumption chart again. 62% of energy goes to space heating, so getting an efficient furnace is important. With 13% going to appliances, buying efficient appliances is another great way to save energy. When you're ready to buy a new appliance, make sure it's the most efficient you can get. There are also items like smart power bars and LED bulbs that'll further reduce your consumption. Habits play a big role too. Turning lights and TVs off, using less hot water, being strategic about opening windows in the heating season. Everybody knows this stuff, but most people don't know what a huge difference it can make. If you're building a new house, make it net zero or net zero ready. It's way easier than fixing it later. If you're renovating, make sure you've got a plan to get to net zero and you're not setting yourself up for more renovations down the line. No matter what your living situation, you can reduce your consumption, both through habit and through smart product choices. We all have a part to play in building a carbon neutral future. We're all in this together.